the beautiful thing about putting yourself outside of your comfort zone, of thinking really big, of being really bold, of saying yes, that's where the magic moments happen in life. I end every post and I end every video with think big, be bold, say yes. It was a few years, it was maybe four or five years ago where I, I'd come up with that by, by pulling that from a bunch of different places. Each one of them really means a lot to me because to be honest, I, I don't think that big. Like I just, I naturally think small. I think safe. I think comfort zone. I think, you know, I don't think big. I'm not the big entrepreneur who connects all the dots and thinks through everything and goes like, oh, you know, I just think small. And, uh, and because of that, I, I don't spend much of my time feeling very bold. You know, I, I know my friends, I know others look at me and they think, wow, you know, look at what you're doing. But I don't feel like a bold person. I make decisions because they make sense to me, because there is no alternative. When you ask yourself, what is the alternative? Then you have to go forward, right? If you can't go right, you have to go left. So I come to decisions that way, but I don't feel bold. And then the idea of saying yes is because I say no. <laughs> like, like my natural place is no. No, I don't wanna do that. My wife comes and says, hey, we're gonna go out for Friday night. I'm gonna go out for dinner Friday night. I'm like, no, I don't wanna go out Friday night. My wife's like, hey, we should try this stuff. I'm like, no, I don't wanna try this stuff. A client comes to me and, and says, hey, can you help us with this? My natural reaction is, no, I don't wanna help you with it. That sounds really hard. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> We've never done that before. And so the idea of thinking big and being bold and saying yes is because that's my challenge to myself, all right? To think really big, to think so big that it scares me, to think so big that it scares you. You know, to be bold, what would the boldest version of yourself say? What would the boldest version of yourself do? What would the, how would the boldest version of yourself react? And then to just say yes. Casey Neistat directed this video for Mercedes commercial and at the end of the commercial it said sometimes you just have to say yes and I remember watching the behind the scenes of how he made that where he talked about the copywriter he brought in and why they love that message and I think that's where I got that say yes from sometimes you just have to say yes but more than that it's not just sometimes for me it's hey do you want to go do this I have to say yes yes do I want to go do I don't want to go do that that looks crazy to me. I don't wanna, sometimes you just have to say yes. The beautiful thing about putting yourself outside of your comfort zone, of thinking really big, of being really bold, of saying yes, that's where the magic moments happen in life. So I shared this on the podcast that I host with Evan Carmichael. My birthday was a little while ago and I got invited out um, by my friend Evan and his wife Nina to join them in December for Hot Pot. Hot pot is like this restaurant Korean thing where you get all this food and you put it in a pot. I never been to it before. I really wanted to go. I really wanted to go to hot pot. But guess what? They asked me uh, at like 2.30 in the afternoon on a Saturday afternoon in December to go out for dinner like four hours later. Finding a babysitter and leaving <laughs> my wife and kids and everything or whatever, bringing my wife with me on a Saturday afternoon with three, four hours notice. I got four kids. That's not gonna happen. So guess what? I had to say no. So I really, really, really wanted to try this hot pot place. And so I email Nina and I say, Nina, Evan's wife, where was that hot pot place? I wanna go there for my birthday. And then she sends me this place and says, go out and try this place. Awesome. I don't look at it. So I send it to my wife and say, this is where I wanna go for my birthday. She makes reservations. Birthday comes around. I tell everyone I'm going for hot pot. I tell my friends who are coming with us, we're trying hot pot. <laughs> I'm really excited. We walk into the restaurant. It's not a hot pot place. That restaurant where we booked our reservation for is not a hot pot place. Nina misread my email. I didn't check that the place she sent me was actually hot pot. So we walk into this place and I'm really pissed off now because I wanted hot pot and I'm embarrassed because I told all my friends we were going for hot pot and I didn't look at the email and I didn't look at the place and my wife didn't know what we were talking about. So now we find ourselves at a Thai restaurant instead on my birthday and I'm, I'm, I'm really pissed off actually. but. Where I'm going with this is we had one of the best nights ever. The food at this Thai place was amazing. The conversation was so much fun. The atmosphere was great. We got there at like 6.30, we didn't leave until 10 p.m. It was an amazing restaurant and an amazing night and I wouldn't have had that opportunity if I just 
didn't find myself there. If the universe or whatever random sequence of events, all those mess ups led us to this amazing Thai place. That to me is what saying yes is. It's being bold, it's putting yourself in a position where you can experience new things, where you can try new things, where if, you're, if your true sense is to hide or to say no or to be afraid, which honestly, that's kind of my, my comfort zone is, is saying no and hiding and, and being a little bit afraid and overwhelmed and worried, can we do it or not do it? That's what think big, be bold, and say yes is. Everything that I post is a reminder to myself because I'm really not trying to uh, sway you too much in any one way. I'm trying to remind myself that I have to do these things. So each one of these things pulls me out of my comfort zone. Thinking big, I don't really naturally think that big. I think big for my clients, but I don't really think that big for myself. So thinking big for me is thinking, hey, it's not about the next step, it's about 10 steps later. Right? It's not about running the 30 person company, it's about running the 300 person company. It's not about being the winner in our geography, it's about taking over the entire nation. It's not about being a pretty good father or a pretty good husband, it is about being the best father I can possibly be for my kids and being the best partner to my wife that I can possibly be. That thinking, having those standards, trying to achieve and trying to work for that level raises everything up and that only starts from thinking really big. Is it ludicrous to think, uh, I'm gonna spend four months in Paris. You know, I've heard people tell these stories where they say, oh, I pulled my kids out of school for the summer. We went, we, got a, we got a, rented a little place and we spent four months in Paris. That's thinking pretty big to me. Maybe not to you, that, that's pretty big to me. It's pretty cool, it's pretty bold. But you will never do it if you don't have the original thought or the original dream or the original idea. If I thought, hey, wife, if I thought, hey, Jacqueline, let's take our kids to Paris for four months. Let's, they, they're all in French school. Let's put them in Paris and let's let them learn French better and I can work remotely. Let's make this happen. That's, that's thinking pretty big. And if the immediate reaction is, no, we can't do that. No, we can't do that. We can't leave the dog. We can't leave our house. What about our responsibilities? Who will cut the grass? No, 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 no. That's not thinking big. So thinking big opens yourself up to bigger ideas, to bigger dreams, to bigger things happening. And then not letting your brain tell you that you're thinking too big. And that's why you need to be bold, right? The second thing is being bold because my brain will say, no, you can't move to Paris. What about the dog? What about the grass? What about all these things? What about your business? What, what if? What if we had to spend four months in Paris? What if we had to give our kids the opportunity to learn French there as opposed to in the French school? What if, right? I would have to think pretty big. I would have to be pretty bold to actually make that happen. It's a pretty cool idea, right? I guess I gotta do this now. <laughs> and then the last thing is saying yes, right? But saying yes here, like I guess yes in your, your head as well, but yes in your heart. And saying yes to like booking the Airbnb and lining up the dog sitter and buying the airline tickets and saying, hey, we're leaving in June and we will be back in September. And saying yes with the team to say, I'm off for four months, I will be working within these hours and I will still make it happen. That is thinking big and being bold and saying yes, because yes leads to action. And so for you and yourself, how does that look in your life? How does that look in your relationships? How does that look in your business? What types of dreams can you have when you're thinking big? What kind of things can you do when you're being bold? And then what kind of actions can you take when you actually say yes? Oh, that was gold. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.